Welcome to the introductory tutorial for Adventure Club, a responsive template for Joomla 3. Let's dig in here. As you see, we have a beautiful template here with some nice CSS3 and JavaScript effects with the scroll to reveal. And Adventure Club has four different styles here, so let's check out style two. And this would make the perfect template for a golf club or a golfing experience. And in style three, we have a nice beach vibe here with some nice bright colors. And in style four, we have a nice mountain scene. Good for hiking. And now let's go back to style one and let's go over the module positions in the template. And up here in the top where we have our style buttons, these are just a Joomla menu and that's in the top left position. Then we have top right over here. Um, the logo is part of the template. You can go ahead and you can have the logo in the center on the left or on the right, wherever you want it. And that's selected in the back end of the template administrator. You simply upload your logo to the logos folder in the template, and then you can select it from the back end. And here in our menu bar left, we have our menu one. And same with this. This is menu bar left as well. We're using suffixes here to go ahead and put this menu to the right and this menu to the left but they are in the same module position so should you choose to move the logo to the left you can simply just disable this menu and run this menu out and here in the inset position uh, we have this hiker and here on the left side position we have our social networking which is fixed this is just a custom HTML module so you can open that up and you can quickly add in your own links to your Facebook your Google Plus your LinkedIn Twitter etc here in left two we have the book your reservation now button this links to our appointment book so you can actually take reservations we'll look into that later and here in user one we have our different articles with a nice little CSS3 hover effect. Um, these are straight Joomla articles and they link right to the article and this is our Deluxe News Pro. And then here in user 7 we have some custom HTML with a nice little layout. Here in left 4 we also have our Deluxe News Pro and this is just pulling some Joomla content in with a read more linking to the Joomla content. Here in the center we have our image wall and the image wall actually has a little pop-up modal effect here so if we click on it we're going to see that and now let's move on and here in right four we have a cool little hover effect on the fish and this also is our deluxe news pro module and it links to a joomla article here in user 19, this is just an image. We've included the PSD, so you can go ahead and put whatever you want in the ribbon. Uh, we actually made this a image, so it can be resized nicely um, for responsiveness, other than doing some custom markup in there and layering it and everything, which might get complicated. So like I said, it does have the PSD, so should you want to change this or, and use it. And then here in user 28, we also have our Deluxe News Pro, and this is just our blog roll. Each of these link to the Joomla articles. Here is the latest video in user 29, and this is just a YouTube video that's embedded in a custom HTML module. And here at the bottom, we have our bottom one through four, and this again is our Deluxe News Pro. And as you see, these are just Joomla articles, and you can click on it and go directly to the Joomla article. And at the bottom, of course, we have our footer module, and we have our legals module, just giving us our copyright and our disclaimer. So now let's go ahead and take a look at um, some of the features here. Um, we do have some nice module styles for you included in the template. See, we've got the black suffix, the green with no line. Some of them have lines. You can flip the suffix so you have actually the title on the bottom. You have the right suffix, you know, left suffix, no line suffix, aqua. So you have... 20 plus module suffix here that are included with the template. 
and this template is bootstrapped so let's go ahead and take a look at the bootstrap components and this basically is just a example with all the markup to show you all the different stuff you can do with bootstrap so this is 100 percent bootstrap we do use bootstrap 2 which is included in joomla this is not bootstrap 3 we will not be updating our templates to use bootstrap 3 until joomla does we do this because we are concerned about having some problems with conflicts and we want to make sure everything is based off core Joomla. So as you see, you've got many different things you can do from animated progress bars to different grid layouts, thumbnails, and just many things that you can do with Bootstrap. So now let's go ahead and look at the base typography. And here's our base typography styles. You've got your blog bubbles, your notes, your buttons, you've got your UL lists. And we also included Font Awesome version 4. Here's all these nice little icons that you can use. Now let's scroll back to the top and Let's go ahead and check out some more here. So we have our Joomla content. And here we have our Joomla content with a nice date badge, your read more, and your tools. Over here on the right, we have our disclaimer, latest from the blog, which is our news pro module, and we have the core Joomla login module styled nicely for you. And here you've got your more articles and you have your pagination. Let's go ahead and take a look at the first article. As you see, we have the same styling here on the article page. And this is just some markup that we put in right with the WYSIWYG editor. So as you see, everything works out fine when using a WYSIWYG editor. Now we can check out our two column blog. And now we have our Content layouts are custom layouts for po Portfolio Write. Portfolio Write features one of the articles, large, and the rest small. And it's the same method for Portfolio Left. And for Portfolio Center. Then we have our category list. And this is the basic bootstrap styling for the category list, nice and clean. We have the search, contact form, and the wrapper. Over here in extensions, we have our appointment book. And this is the first page for the appointment book. Here you can go ahead and book your reservation. As you see here, you can go ahead and put in your personal information, your service request, um, activity, and pick your day and your time. This is our appointment book component that comes right with the template. And then we have our photo gallery. And this uses our image gallery module. This is just a Joomla content article where we put in the tag to call the gallery information. And we have our image wall. And you see we have a nice little image wall here with some more images. And then you've got your little buttons here to go ahead and change the images. And now let's go ahead and take a look at the responsive mode of the template. Back on the home page, I'm showing you this responsive view in the Duo browser. If you're using a Macintosh, I would suggest that you uh, go to the App Store and you find the Duo browser because uh, it gives you a great little view where you can go ahead and look at both aspects, desktop and mobile, at the same time. This really helps for development. So here we have our home page. We're going to scroll down and we're going to see everything looks nice here. And then here we are at the smallest mobile level. You see everything goes to one column. Everything fits in perfectly. Even the video. 
So let's go back here and let's check out our Joomla content. And as you see here, we've got our nice articles fitting perfectly. We put the date badge on top and we center this. And here at your top, you see that the header becomes just a small logo and your mobile button. And that concludes our introductory tutorial for Adventure Club. In the next video, I'm going to go over the administration in the back end of Adventure Club and show you some more of the features. See you in the next video.